The United Nations Children Fund UNICEF has decried the delay in the implementation of Child Rights Act in Nigeria. UNICEF says the delay will endanger children's lives, making them susceptible to various violations in the society. Correspondent Linda E.K. has the details. The Rights Act was adopted in Nigeria in 2023 to domesticate the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Twenty years after, many states in Nigeria are struggling to implement the Child Rights Law which are rights to life, survival, protection, education, among others. Though 35 states have domesticated the law, including Kanu State that has just passed the act as a bill, while Bauchi State is yet to domesticate it. At a two-day media dialogue organized by UNICEF on child rights implementation and country programs results, UNICEF Child Protection Specialist Fatima Adamu stated that the Child Rights Act may be domesticated by many states, but its implementations are mainly the challenge. Um, if we are discussing implementation, it's 20 years since the passage of the CRA in, in the country. There's still one more state left to pass. That's, that alone is an issue of implementation. A core component of the law is the family courts. If you go to verify, I'll leave that to you, to verify how many states currently have family courts as part of um, the um, Child Justice Administration procedure. Um, there are a lot of things that have to do with implementation. Um, like we said, there are different indicators to track social welfare, justice system, to what extent are they functional. Because it's not just having them, it's also about functionality. Those that have passed the Child Protection Law or the Child Rights Act, where is the implementation plan? There's need for us to develop implementation plans. She called on government at all levels to put more efforts to ensuring that the Child Rights Law is effectively implemented urging that all hands must be on deck by all stakeholders to monitor and prevent violation of children in the society. It is response, everybody's responsibility at the community level, at, um, at, um, at, um, at state level, at what level. We are not waiting for violations to happen. We should focus on prevention of violations, but should it happen, everybody, all hands should be on deck to make sure that corrections are put into place, that whoever commits that um, violation against the child is being brought to book according to the laws of the law. UNICEF Communication Specialist Jeffrey Njoku, who highlighted the areas UNICEF has supported Nigeria to ensure that the rights of the child are secured, said this included getting back 1.5 million girls to school. If you look at if you look at mix, one of compare if you take the mix, if you take the mix, you place side by side, you will see the national figure, but this is UNICEF's contribution. You understand? So this is this one, if you take the next 35 states, 35 states have the child rights act, have the child rights law. We are hoping that one for this will be signed off and accepted. A staff of Kanu State Education Secretariat, Rabbi Mukhtari, expressed gratitude for UNICEF interventions, which has helped many children, especially the girls, back to school. Before uh, the the girls education is highly highly complicated but uh, now we even have a school girls child uh, only that are attending the school we have brigade girls model the only there are only female pupils that are uh, taking their educational uh, knowledge there and uh, secondly in the other schools we are doing uh, the co system in which male and female are attending the school. So now it is when you go to that school, you can see number of girls are higher than the girls, their counterpart boys. Implementing child rights art should be every government priority to ensure each child is protected. Linda Ike, MITV News.